morning guys today with yogi and we out street tuning the Alteza. right um, so from the last time we have a couple of dates um, the, we ended up having to remove the bias resistors like we mentioned in the previous uh, previous videos um, the bias resistors in place the stop gauge um, rates a bit low um, I ended up switching from the DSC VR conditioner to the, the one of the Max chips. Um, I was getting, I was having some issue with picking up RPM during cranking. Um, but other than that, we just out driving to the track, and then we'll pick up with some progress along. Okay, so for the most part, we just driving around. Third gear log and pull this to the beginning for you guys. Um, so so far, error at the F real ratio. The third gear log starts a bit lean, but quickly dives down into 12s. Have a foot, you know, going down into 12s, 11s. So for the most part, it's still pretty rich. Um, still needs a bit of work. Um, so. Yeah, so <laughs> I forgot to explain. So in the green at the top, we have map and red directly below it. We have FEL ratio and in the white we have we have RPM. So start off around 1800 RPM, wide open throttle, dip down into the 11s, which is pretty rich. 11s, have a lean spot here, go up to 14, goes back down into the 12s. For the most part, it stays in the 12s up till red line. Okay, and plug inspection. The camera would focus. All right, so all the plugs pretty much look like this. Timing mark is a bit too far up the strap, so we're gonna pull a couple degrees out of it, maybe about three, and then we're going to test again. Swelling looks okay. Timing is a bit too far. Yeah. Are they going to buy bears? Where? Down there. Where? They're going to buy bears, bro. Wait, wait, wait. I think they're going to go and um, burn the ass. Did you ever want to be a go bears? Yes, I don't know. They're not going to do a burn out, bro. They're just going to buy bears. Wait. Yogi, check if it will do a burnout. <laughs> check it. Okay, I'm recording now. Okay, so it's been a long day. Right, so we have the car driving on the open road. Yogi is still here. Alright, so we have the tune in pretty much dialed. Still needs a bit of work, but the car is looking pretty good. Okay, free ratios are pretty good response is pretty good we seem to have picked up some low-end torque right yogi yeah man for sure uh, we have low-end torque and for all in all tune is pretty good
Okay, and of course, you guys know I like my stats. So we did a couple of runs yesterday. This last three, we're done with the Speedway No ECU. This 51 mile an hour um, was an aborted run. And we did about four runs. One, two, three, four on the stock ECU. So this one we couldn't get third gear, but for the most part, with the two of us in the car, we were averaging 86 and 87 miles an hour. And the fastest run, okay, so these four, so we had the first run with the, the factory EC, we had 86 miles an hour, the second we had 84, then we had 87, then we had 86, and then the last three runs with the speed, you know, we had 86 miles an hour, 87, 86, and 31. So the best pass on the factory ECU with the Toro Sinaka is an 87 miles an hour. And with the speed reno, we have 87 miles an hour as well. So it tells us that peak horsepower is about the same between the two ECUs with the amount of tuning we've done thus far. We haven't really pushed time in that much. But for now, it seems to be about the same. Um, but interestingly, if we look at the best pass with the factory ECU, we would notice a few things. At the 60 foot, we have 27 miles an hour, 53, 65, and so on and so forth. All right? if we go back here to the fastest pass on the Speedway now, we would see that our 60 foot miles an hour is a lot lower. Um, this is mainly because um, there's a rich spot somewhere um, when we just engage a clutch, when we try to launch a car, the car pretty much bogs down, so we lose about a good bit of time and speed around at the 60 foot mark. But the car seems to have picked up a lot of low end torque. So what you find is that by the one if mile, we're pretty much trapped in the seam. So even if it, it bogs with the speed of the ECU, it has a lot more low end torque, so it picks up a lot quicker, and then it ultimately traps about the same. So if we were to look at a dyno sheet, what we would see is that the speed reno um, torque band would pretty much be pretty flat, as opposed to the factory one, which would just be pretty much very picky. So. Um, these are the little things where you would not, on a dyno sheet, you might not, well, for bragging rights to you, it, it wouldn't mean much. But on the road, you definitely feel the difference in torque. So I'm hoping that um, by the time we all said and done, well, we pretty much um, extracted factory horsepower out of the car. But now it's just time to push a little bit and try to get a couple of miles an hour on top of that. So, recap, we trap in the same, so the car is pretty much making about the same horsepower right now on the speed unit as it was on the factory ECU. Alrighty, so we're gonna wrap this up. So for the most part, the tuning is pretty much done. Um, VVT did, well, does make a little bit tricky to do the tuning um, because of the varying VVT, it causes a small swing in airflow to the engine, so the FEI ratios need to be um, tailored for that. Um, but I, for the most part, it's, we have FEI ratios pretty much dialed in. The only issues we have thus far is um, we have a little rich spot just off somewhere in the mid range. So what you find is that when we try and launch the car, the car bogs down a bit. Um, but even with that, the car is very fun to drive on the road wide open throttle pulls on the road are good cruising is good idle is good the car is pretty much pretty dialed in um for the most part it seems to have picked up a lot of bottom and talk um, with the factory ecu you feel almost nothing in the bottom and then somewhere around 4000 rpm when vvti kicks in you feel the pull uh, and this one is just nice and flat makes for very fun and well mannered car to drive around on the road wide open throttle has lots of power as we saw in the trap speed the car traps about the same with the two of us in it with the speed reno ecu and the factory ecu um only thing we have a rich spot like i said in the middle so what happens is that the car bogs when we try to launch it but we're gonna sort that out the next time around um, the car bogs but with the additional torque the car still picks up 
and then still ends up trapping the same as the factory ECU in the end. So that's just a testimony of the low end torque which we gained. But for the most part, the tuning is good. Um, we're gonna finish that up during the week. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, we haven't really pushed timing that much. Um, I, I left it pretty soft to begin with. So hopefully the next time about we're going to mess about with that. Um, so in a nutshell, <laughs> tuning went pretty well. Um, I hope to have a video sometime mid next week with more tuning updates. Um, cold starts are pretty good. Um, the owner sent me some some clips from this morning where he tried to start the car from a dead cold. The car started up first go, which is usually very tricky when you're pretty much making a map from scratch. Hot starts are good. Idle is good. Cruising is good. Wide open throttle is good, as we saw from the previous clips. So he's out enjoying the car. He took it to work today. And then we're hopefully going to get some more tuning done sometime during the week. And I'll keep you guys updated. So guys, thank you for... Um, following the series thus far um, it's been pretty fun it's been something new for me um, any tuning is always a lot of fun since it takes it takes a lot to extract everything out of the car that was a turbo car where you can just turn a boost and whatnot but um, we only just getting started the tuning is a continuous thing um, it's not something that you just go you drop the car off and within an hour or two the tuning is done so far we have about three hours into tuning and no dyno, just going by data, and for the most part, it seems pretty good. So, before this gets too long, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Thanks for staying tuned to the series. Like always, like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, guys, stay safe.